A group of friends of mine used to call this Einstein. I have noticed that people of the generation that's not the Beat generation, not the Jack Kerouac on the road generation, people who are post-boomer, okay, post-boomer, and uh, are not millennials, have a kind of affinity for that kind of on the road, ooh, on the road. When I talk about making a road trip, people will often say, like Jack Kerouac, and then they'll say, no, no, no. And I'll say, oh, I don't know, maybe. So it's this thing that hovers over the idea of the open road, the lonesome road. And I'm reminded of a time when I was college aged and roads were more open. There weren't so many cars on the road. Persons of means didn't have to have three cars. Even if they could afford it, they might have chosen not to. Persons of few means had other ways of getting around or didn't travel interstate in a private vehicle. They might have traveled interstate on a Greyhound or a Trailways or some other kind of commercially oriented bus. And I'm picturing Interstate 80 that goes from New York to San Francisco and makes some fascinating stops in between. It would be clear all the way across Pennsylvania. I-75, which goes from Florida to Canada, and it took me a while to figure out that the I-75 that goes through Detroit is the same one that goes to Cincinnati and the same one that goes through several Florida cities. What? I, I, I don't understand. But somewhere in Kentucky, I-75 would be two lanes in either direction and open road, fields, trees, the topography somewhere south of Lexington but north of Atlanta got beautiful and it would be a couple of truckers and a handful of four-wheeled vehicles doing what they needed to do on the open road. <laughs>